everyone, this is Fantastic World, so get back to Lovecraft Country and the Seeker World Lore Hunter. In this case, we're doing a Lore Hunter series because in order to deal with the hell invasion that is, oh hi, hell invasion that is literally going outside the hotel, the motel overlook, I um, need to talk to Mr. Bach about it. After all, he's the only person here who seems to know what's going on. And despite what this woman like to, looks like, she's actually on our side. Anyways. Mr. Bach, what can you tell me? Daniel Bach has been chasing a road magus, magician, through piss-soaked alleys of the world. Lovely image there. Use Bach's research to trace back the life of Theodore Wicker to understand who he was, where he's been, and what he sacrificed along the way. Wicker's interest in hell brought him to the Overlook Motel, where he disappeared in 1987. Now, if you remember, 1987 is also the time... Well, first of all, we know that back in the Black House episode that the local witch was in fact blamed for this mur for the murders in this hotel in 1987, and also a Wendigo in 1987 was brought down by a magician within the League of Monster Slayers, and that, um, that was about the time that the construction of the Atlantic Park um, anima capacitor, which I suspect Wicker did in fact design for Mr. Winters, similar names there, and makes it a very red-letter year. Not as red-letter as the apocalypse of 2012, but still kind of interesting. It all happens in essentially the same time period. But Mr. Bo D Daniel Bach's extensive labor could led him here to the culmination of years of journalistic and personal obsession. Examine Bach's research and learn where art started. Yeah, Bach was a champion. Not how the New York Times saw it, but I've been planning the It's Not You, Baby, It's Me speech anyway. We stay in touch, trade candid webcam shots. They still want me. But now I'm a free man, baby, swimming in pills, pussy, and dreams of Pulitzers. No more of that human interest shit, not unless it involves horns and a forked tail. So I've been following a dead man around the world. Brit, by the name of Theodore Wicker, the Crowley of Soho. He was looking for hell with a capital H. If he'd hung around, I could have given him pointers. Afghanistan, Liberia, Baghdad, Chechnya, Brooklyn. But he came here to East Bumfuck, Maine in 87. Not a great year for fashion and a terrible year for wicker. Booked up in room 13, never seen again. Then this roach trap went under and nobody's touched it for a quarter of a century. You know, yeah, my man found what he came for. So did I. The Pope was right. Hell is real and it's not other people. This place is a door. That room is the lock and the merry shit going down here is the key. What's interesting is that if you pay attention to what he's saying, this is a very literate individual. He's quoting Hell is Their People, which is French philosophy. He's quoting um, Pope John Paul. He's quoting a lot of different sources, all combined in some sort of incoherent, drug-fueled mess. Eh, probably could have been a politician. Anyways, let's see what he knows about Mr. Wicker. Okay. Now the pictures are interesting because they show actual spots. This one I recognize. This one looks Londonish. This one, yeah, that one's gonna take a little bit. You thought you burned everything, didn't you? But you didn't count on a reporter sniffing after you. A trail like this never really goes cold. It just hangs there like LA smog, like that shit. He writes like this. You got in London, and that man's secret London, yet yeah, it can be our secret sport. Latin, fucking Latin, but I'll tell you, Theo, you're not the only one with a classical education. As I noted, Soho to Brooklyn, the dead is the circles, magic circles, lab results, sulfur salt, blood come, just a New York Saturday night, infernal circles, put in a favor with Cora LV. Seance circles, who are you talking to, my man? Someone need an appointment, someone private, I'm not judging, you don't gotta tell me, hell does like call girls like no one else. Maine? What the fuck? I thought we knew each other, Theo, I thought you had class, but you gotta go where I gotta go, I am, right? The shit... You done by now, your skin was hanging on you like a thrift store suit and last call for departures, the abominable Mr. Wicker. You know, sport, when all's said and done, you should hook me up for a biog. I think we got something, something real. All right. And 13. Yeah, there's a few clues here, like the door to hell there. But first, more subtle things. So here we are in the alternate room 13. Now, this is interesting in that it is appear to be, with the hell spake out there, 
the same time outside, but it's not. There's no creatures, and this room is kind of frozen in the 1987 phrase. So it's kind of the thing is it's acting kind of like an airlock between hell and our reality. It's a stable point, time space that bridges both. That's allowing the portals from hell to come here. So we've got to find a way to dismantle this. But let's find the journal Ricker behind, left behind before you went through. Ordine dom mentut with this symbol. Now this is a simple substitution cipher. So Transposing the runes to Latin is imperfect. My book of blood is all perfection. Each incantation strips the memories of humanity from my soul, strips the soul from my will. My will is raw. These circles are the record I leave behind, a broken record, a feeble repetition of the being I once was, and now discard. I could not return to humanity, even if I wished it. Ordinate doom and dot. I think that means change in order. I'm not that good at Latin, actually. Okay, and this is the instrument we must play on the typewriter of the damned as it were and now i gotta try to remember okay this one according to my notes is o and r and d i think is over there right yeah okay d ord first one and e which one's e ah that one's e and R and where's I I that's I, I think and N and T and comes the next word dumb you can make up your own joke on that one And Mintat. Suddenly I have the image of demonic twins in a commercial. And where's the E? I think that's E. And T. U. A. And T. This oh. is the place. So pathetic for something so portentous. I can feel the other side is close, so close. I saw it in the motel owner's eyes, glazed with fear and suffering. Offerings have been poured out on this ground, soaked through to the foundations. Covered over with a minimum of effort, an Illuminati hallmark. The room stinks of inevitability. Of all the damned lives I have ended, this final sacrifice is the most deserving. I hold up to you, Sakharissa, the heart of Theodore Wicker. Okay, if that's Wicker, that means he for his own heart. Now, this isn't actually Wicker. Like I said before, it's a broken record, a time-space echo of himself. And the fact is, yeah, I kind of agree with him in this regard, is that the Illuminati tends to put about shit effort into the uh, covering up issues. This is sitting on a major nexus point. The Illuminati dumped a regular motel on what's been a place of sacrifice, probably with an altar or something here as well. So we're talking about, you know, we had, again, another disaster that the Illuminati's lack of supernatural OSHA rules has brought about. The apocalypse being only the latest one. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so the first photograph, if you remember, I did take a screenshot, was of the sewer system down here in Illuminati. So yes, we now, this is the back door to Illuminati headquarters if you don't take the uh, hotel, um, the first one time you come in and if you don't take the uh, loading dock, which is, you know, least secure entrance ever but you'll notice that yeah the arches here match the picture that we had in box notes now the question is where exactly yeah there we go you'll note that of all the entrance pro sections this is the one that has a sewer coat cover so yeah again the Illuminati is sitting right on top of a major black magic event that I either either do not know or do not care is happening because you know Illuminati 
Alright then, so as you can see, there's a pretty standard sewer layout for the game. I'm guessing it was Illuminati standard, they built sewers, which is probably why so many fail. But yeah, all that's of interest in here is this rather obvious seance circle, which in, since 1987 nobody in Illuminati has ever managed to figure out. In addition, we've got to figure out this particular code. Now, it's obviously not going to be the exact same code. Uh, let's see... You have to find the damn code. Hmm. Um. Thing terribly obvious sticking out. Wait, is that? Oh, wait. Uh oh. There we go. Non sum qualis erum. Not equal quality things that are not of equal quality. Guess. Of course, like I said, my Latin is terrible. Okay, so this has got words I don't have. Oh, this is going to be painful. All right then, I am going to have to figure out this code. Alright, I'm going to have to jump and switch, because this is going to take a few times. So I'll jump to the successful one, because I've got to figure out which words are which, and it's going to be by trial and error, and that could take a bit. Okay, stand by. Yeah, the problem with investigation missions is that you probably figured out that I can take some serious amount of time now, and I know. Let's see, an O. O's over there, I think. So, Paul, yeah. Okay, there's Anne again. And let's see what else we got here. Sum. Sum estes, sum estes sunt. Anybody in Latin remember that particular particular phrase? Let's see. Yep, I think, I think that's it there. Hang on. Wallace, this one, I think. And the U's over there. The A is U, I think. And the L. The I. And the S. Aram, or the Ram, or whatever. E. R. A. M. Ooh, this one worked. Lord, in rendering my body able to survive the hell dimensions, I have made myself sick among humans. Each Climate brings a new fever. I wretch at the touch of sunlight on my skin. My dietary requirements extreme. I, I am become some Victorian storybook monster. And no crossing point, no portal will do. I travel the world searching a, a, a leper prodigal. This one won't do, and this one won't do. It must be fresh. Exposed. Okay, so this is... I am driven. So Sakarissa waits at the border. Sakarissa, huh? Eh, Starcraft's lovers indeed. Well, here's the deal. This is an earlier copy of Wicker. Wicker had frozen at this point in time, which is still a normal time, apparently, which makes things a bit spookier. Um, music's not helping either. But yeah, the thing is, is that Wicker... Altered his body to survive in hell, but that's a different terrain type than here, so he's una unable to adapt here. He says his dietary types are extreme. I wonder if that involves blood or chemicals or what. Anyways, we need to find the procation in the second photograph, and I've got a pretty good idea where that is, so I'll catch you there. Now recall, if when I said it looked Londonish, it's this recessed staircase right here, located just next to the Horn God. So, let's pop in here. If you really want to know where it is, you can check the mini-map. 
in the uh, upper right. But let's break into a uh, cellar in enemy territory. I'm sure that will work fine. And here we are in the lovely squatter's den. But, you know, frankly, it's a better place than some apartments I had. Ooh, more books. Uh, in the real world, I'm kind of addicted to books, especially the more esoteric. And here you've got this seance circle on the wall, and ah, what's that? Orbis non-sufficient. My sight is insufficient, I think. Okay, so let's give this one a whirl, shall we? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, gotta keep looking this stuff up. And again, it looks like I'm going to have to do some substitution and experimentation and hopefully get it right. So, sorry about all these sudden cuts, but investigation missions tend to have to do this because either have to look something up, write something out. I mean, the numbers were bad enough way back when, but uh, give me a second. All right, so I think we've got the situation dealt with here. I mean, uh, if I think I'm pointing towards it. it Paul, how do I get that one? Yeah, the first letter is again O. It's, no, 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 no. Not what I want. Eesh. Hopefully I'm tagging the right one. Yes, it is right. This really would prefer this being on the... Uh, yeah, the R was in the center in the first one, so... Yeah, they do keep moving it around. I'm not going crazier than usual. Orb... And I think this is I up here. I am not so legend. S. And which one am I looking for again? Let's see. Right, non again. The N, N, N is up here. If I can get the right angle. The I above it, and the N, well, at least they're close to each other, that's good and bad, and sufficient. Or, my pronunciation is terrible. This is why I could never go into demonology. I would totally get everything wrong and accidentally summon the wrong entity and it would eat me. You. Is that a good sound or a bad sound? F. F. I. C. Uh, I again. And T. Come on, did it right? I yes. See those shores aflame when I sleep. I see them when I am awake. I look out at this city's dismal shapes, BT tower blinking feebly in a sky of unfinished grey wash. I cast no reflection. The glass feels alien to the touch. I will not miss this place, no more than I regret the sacrifices I have made, or those yet to come. Do not plead, do not rage, I should say. For your language means so little to us. Oh, us? Zacharissa. Yeah, he considered himself demon, not human. I guess trans species would be the right way to put it. The politically correct way to put it. I'm a psychopath. But in any case, um, yeah. So the thing is, is that he doesn't like this world, doesn't want to be in this world. He'd rather be in hell, because I guess... Ooh, what's this? Oh, well, yeah, I probably could have used this instead of the freaking time I took trying to do single substitutions back and forth. I used to do simple codes when I was young, and apparently I've decided I'd try to show off for myself. Two months have passed. No time has passed. My fasting is complete. I am divested of excess of appetite. I am stripped of all but my shadow. The slate is crepe clean. I close the door on London's fading lights. And on the night if I left before it, I'm, I'm not doing this. I have spent too much time staring at it. Please forgive me. But yeah, the location referred to in the in the journal... Yeah. Let me guess. I have to... Hang on. Okay, so... Tabla Raza is the first thing. The slate is scraped clean, which means blank slate, but it's also the name of a place that's in London. We'll be getting to that shortly. And I close the door on Septimus. 
on London's fading lights on the light I led. Septimus, I think, means September. That's the season, perhaps, it happened on? Anyways, let's how to, I'll uh, pop over to the blank slate, and we'll check it out. Okay, so it's all starting to come together now, because this space does actually resemble the photograph in uh, box notes. And let's see what we got here. Let's go back to London, and ooh, what is this? Ooh, the rooms. Ooh, an access key. Uh, let me guess. Your aha access key. There we go. So Septimus must be the room he stayed at here while he was... Well, I don't know. It's a squatter's place. I, I guess Wicker has, you know, tastes. He doesn't want to actually live in the squatted... Squatter's squalid headquarters down there where he's probably sacrificing homeless people right under the Templar's nose. So I can't exactly accuse the Illuminati of being the... Solo and their lack of proper care of the world. So, anyways, to the rooms. The Septimus Room. Oh, wow, I thought I'd have to jump cut that one. But yeah, it's, um, puzzle boxes. I guess if you want your own special date with Pinhead, I'm not touching them. More books. Ooh, and a recorder. Now let me... 1987. This place hasn't been cleaned since 19... I am not sleeping in the goddamn bed. Who knows when the sheets were done last time? Who knows what was sleeping it's in true. there? It's true. Everything is true. Mankind and demonkind lived as one. All my work has led me to this, and yet, still, it changes everything. They were right to suppress this history, man and demon both, for its magnificence is fracturing. My mind is stripped naked by the possibilities. The historian's curse is to forever be on the outside, looking in on former glories trapped in amber. What if one had the means to return them? What if one had the will to do it? Okay, so demons and humans lived together and there was a war and the demons were outcast. So instead of the fall being between demons and angels, it was between demons and humans and we tossed them out. Interesting. Anyways, let's check the back briefcase. Ah, the British Museum of the Occult. 1977 lecture series, Wicker, Theodore B., 7 p.m. John D. Hall. Okay, so, yeah, the John D. There's a character who is from the Secret World game and honestly probably isn't any weirder in the real world. Look him up sometime. He's terribly interesting. But in the meantime, I'll pop over to the museum. Okay, so here we are back at the museum. I've been here before, but I'm not sure. Hello, Magic Beasts. Close your notice. I'm not sure if that episode is going to be posted before or after this one, due to the vagaries of the time space continuum and recording, of course. But the bees want me to check this out. Oh. Find a way to view Theodore Wicker's last lecture closed. Due to recent unpredictable behavior across the cult spectrum, the museum must announce a temporary closure for magical reinforcement, aka the apocalypse. We trust visitors understand their safety of our staff, guests, speakers, curators is a greatest priority. The scheduled repeat screening of the 1977 summer lecture series, including the last address of Theodore Wicker, will be available online through the usual private YouTube channel. Check my channel out at... Yeah, I will find that video and I will tack it to the end of this episode. So, in the meantime, let's see what Kirsten has to say. We were there in 77, Theo's lecture, like most of his... Now, that's before, however, Kirsten's. This is the old Illuminati, the pre-corporate Illuminati. Theo's lecture, like most of his academic career, revealed glimpses of a cult genius. In short, we were interested. When he came to New York in 85, it seemed like the whole thing was falling through our laps. Unfortunately, he made another mistake of letting things play out. Ugh, never again. He does a little seances, then poof, he was gone. Less than when a rogue occult genius strolls into your basement, you strap the bastard down. Ah, so they were aware of what happened but didn't do anything about it, which frankly makes them less competent in my eyes. Seriously, even if you even if you weren't the sort of person that wanted a genius on Demonkind, who was trying to prove that Demonkind and Humankind lived together, trying to reunite a gold them again in a golden age in some crazy scheme that involves sacrificing people across the world and cutting out your own heart. Yeah, really? You should keep people like that under control, no matter what your, uh, no matter what your motive is. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna tack this on. No, there we go. I'm gonna tack this on to the, uh, the video that was referenced to the end of this episode, and then, uh, 
will be heading into hell because apparently Wicker did all of this to make his body morph to cap something capable of living in hell. Now, this is going to be interesting for me as a human being would probably die there. I, but as a bee, I probably have the adaptability to handle dimensional travel. I mean, we've done it before into the spirit realm, and I guess hell could be considered yet another version of spirit realm. Although the way Wicker's putting it, I don't think it's the actual underworld. I don't think it's actually where the dead go. It's just another world that we call hell. In any case, we'll see what's going on next time with the dungeon run into the inferno. And until then, this is Fantastic Worlds, bidding you farewell from Lovecraft Country. In summary, we too blithely dismiss it as an unnatural disaster, uh, an aberration, a realm of theatrical fire and brimstone. If you would truly understand the Hell Dimensions, consider it a starving dog, maddened, rabid, with an unfulfilled desire for life, our life, life on Earth. We use that as a bargaining point. I put it to you that this exploitation disgraces us all. We look at the demon and we see only spit on the mirror of our world, not the reflection itself. You will see the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose everything or to become a god. To stand with us or against us. The choice is yours.